Hello, I'm going to show you how to do an armor lock effect picture with GIMP. So what you're going to do is, if you're not sure how to make the lightsaber effect, you should probably learn how to do that, and I can show you how right now. Go to the pass, or go to layer, new layer, and click foreground color for the new layer, and then click OK, and you can usually name it stuff, but then click the little corner, and then screen, so it shows the picture, then click the pass tool, and then make your shape of whatever you want. Uh, I usually try getting like lightning type shapes for the armor lock effect, and then go to selection from pass. Then what you do is you fill it in with the white brush, and then go to select none, and then go to layers over here, and go to the black one, it should be black in the corner after you screened it, and it should still show the picture even if it's on or off, but all it does is take off the little white thing if I click it off, but click, right click on that, duplicate, and then duplicate again, go to the first one, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then put it at 5, and click OK, and then same thing with the next one, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, but this time put it at 20 instead of 5. And then last one also, but filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and put this one to 40. Okay, kind of looks lightsabery. I have a t terrible camera, so sorry. And anyways, I do that, and it looks like that. If I want to get color to it, which usually with the armor lock effect, you do. And I right click merge down and then screen and then merge down again and then screen again so it looks like that then I go to the top go to colors color balance and then if I want to make it blue I drag it to the blue side a couple times and it just starts to change blue and then you pretty much just put a bunch of those along the body for the armor lock effect, and I'm going to show you a finished picture uh, right after, in like a couple seconds, of my dog actually doing the armor lock, so just hold on. Alright. Now, once you have as many lightning bolts or whatever you want on the body, usually I try to cover it, but I'm only doing three because I'm trying to finish the tutorial fast, but anyway. Uh, you're going to do like one more, kind of, another one. You're going to go to, do all the same steps. Go to layer, new layer. Make sure your foreground color is black, and then click your layer. Fill type, foreground color, and then go to screen, or click the down arrow, then click screen, and it should come back up. Now when I take it off, it doesn't really do anything. Okay, I'm going to leave it on. Click the mask tool, and, or the create, knit it pass, I guess you call it in this, but other things it's a mask and uh i'm grabbing it and i'm making a mask around the dog if you're doing it with a person just make it around the person and uh there's a certain step for when it's done so that's why i'm trying to show this part and it's probably going to take a little while to get this part but once you see it you'll be like oh that's pretty easy but okay so uh you're making a mask all the way around you're making kind of like a big lightsaber around it, but there's a spot. If you connect it all the way and you try to color it in, it's going to color in the entire dog part. So go, don't go all the way, like completely done, and then click down. And then go backwards all the way around again as the mask tool. It doesn't matter what shape. You don't have to stay along with all the other dots. I just put whatever in until it's done, so, so once you get back to the end, you can click selection from path, and then get your paintbrush, get the white out color, or get the white color, and then See, there's the missing spot. That's the part you don't do. And you're going to make another little box just for that area right there of the white thing. Go to select, none, and then duplicate the layer. 
and then go to the first one, filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then five, just like everything else. And then the second one, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then 20. Then go to the last one, it should say whatever you named it, and then copy number one, because it always tells you the different number like I had it that one, then I put that on it as the new layer, then I copied that, and it's called new layer copy, because I didn't name it anything, and then this one right here is called new layer copy number one, that's the last one, usually I go down from up, that one right here is five, this one's ten, or this one's five, twenty, and then forty, so this one you go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then put this one to forty, and then it should light up and then go to merge down the top one and then screen and then merge down one more time and then screen again and the, your picture looks like that and go to colors color balance I usually put a little bit of yellow not that much crap like about 50 yellow and then I'll put a little bit of blue and I'll put a little bit more yellow so when you go, probably put it like about 80 yellow, and then I'm going to put about like 30 or 40 blue, 45 or 50, yeah, I'll go 50 blue, and then it should look kind of orangish, I guess, and then that part of it's done, then go save your picture, and then go to file, open, And then do the same thing, layer, new layer, make sure your foreground color is on black, layer fill type, foreground color, and then screen, and then you're just going to make the little box right here, which I'm going to try and do real fast. You can kind of see where I'm putting it right there, but it's not connecting completely with the thing, but once you put the stuff out, click select, none, duplicate, duplicate, go to the first one, filters, blur, Gaussian blur, five, I need to hurry this video up, and then go to the second one, filters, blur, Gaussian blur, then go to 20, then go to the third one, filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then 40. Okay, then go right click, merge down, screen, right click, merge down, and screen, and then it should look like that. Then go to colors, color balance, I put 80 yellow earlier, so I'm putting 80 again, so it can kind of match, and then it kind of looks brighter, but then I have to put the blue in, which is on the other side of it, so and I'll put 50 blue okay and then uh, save it from there again now this is the last part it's really easy uh, it's just get the mask tool you don't have to create a new layer or anything for this part just click a mask all the way around your person or your dog not over the actual armor lock, like border piece, like the white ring or whatever you'd like to say at the edge. Don't put it over that. Just put it over the person or dog, like you did with the bottom of the mask when you were making that white ring piece. And then, um, once you put that all the way around, because when you do armor lock in Halo Reach, it's like kind of bluish. And go to selection from path, go to colors, color balance, and then put it blue. So, because when you're doing armor lock in Halo, it looks like your person's blue. I put it one up to a, the first one up to 100. I could click it again, and if I want him to be really blue, I'll do it again, but that looks like it's too much. So, all together right now, it's at 105. It doesn't look too good on the camera. Then select none and you have your finished armor lock picture and thank you for watching